Hey everybody, welcome to Project Beauty, where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. Uh, I'm just doing a really quick update of my Project Pan 21 in 2021 today. Um, I have my scale in front of me here and uh, some of my products. So let's just go ahead and go through these right now. Um, I will be weighing them on screen because I totally forgot to do that just before I pressed record and I just want to get through this. So the first item I have is my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light and I'm finally done this. I'm not scraping it out. The tip has actually uh, broken off yet again. Oh, it has totally come off now. It just kind of was a hanging there and now it's like stuck inside the product. And there's like so many windows and things in here. Even down here, there's like quite a few windows. I don't know if you can see them, honestly. Um, but I can't scrape in there anymore because the tip is inside there. And I'm just not interested. It's so old. And it was getting to be the last couple uses that I had. I was barely getting anything off the um the doe foot so i was like i'm done with this this is great i finally completed a concealer so that is an empty um the next one i have is my nars cruella lip this one is a lip pencil and it's called a velvet matte lip pencil and i haven't used this yet i think i maybe have only used it once so it's going to be the same weight i'm not going to go into great detail but it was at five grams and it's still at five grams and then I have my Revolution Matte Primer. This one I do have to actually weigh. It was at 30 grams and it's now at 28 grams. And because the package is dark, I'm not able to actually physically show you, but this is my primary found or, um, primer right now. So my primary primer. So I'm actually trying to use that up first over my other ones, but I have quite a few on the go right now. Um, I have my MAC, oh this one's I'm interested in, my MAC Paint Pot and NC25, this is the concealer that I use to carve out my brows, and I finally, finally hit pan, really excited about that, uh, that was at 15 grams, and it's now at still 15 grams, even though I use it every single time I do my makeup, it's insane, it started off at 18 grams, and it's now only at 15 grams by September, and I use it every single time I do my makeup. The next one is my MAC Brow Gel in Dark Brunette. This is the Fluid Line Brow Gel Cream in Deep Dark Brunette, actually. And this is where I'm currently at right now. And I literally had so much. I think this was pretty much full when I started and it's now at 39 grams and it was at 39 grams last month. And again, same thing. I use this every single time I do my makeup. Um, the next is my KVD Center Perfume, which I have to grab here. So this is the KVD Center Perfume. I haven't been using it because I've been trying to use two other more summery scents. And it's still at 222 grams, same as last time I updated. Um, my Bath & Body Work uh, Spray in Peach. This one was at 207 and it's now at 208. Interesting. Uh, I'm actually going to remove this from the project. I cannot stand it. I literally cannot stand it. Um, not interested in wearing it. The scent is just too much for me now and I've used enough that I'm happy with like getting rid of this. I'm just going to toss it. It's old. It's gross. I'm no longer going to use that. So I'm just going to cross this off and write removed. I'm definitely going through um, decluttering more in this project than actually panning things in this project. So I should have called it a declutter instead of a or potential declutter instead of 21 and 2021. But it was a different style for me this year um, for this specific project. So you may see more of that in my upcoming projects for 2022. Then I have my MAC blush in Two Virtues. Again, both of these I haven't really used because I feel like this one has to be like a very cool toned makeup look. Um, so that one was at 33 and it's still at 33. I haven't used it. And um, then the Urban Decay Eye Pencil in Zero. It's this tiny, tiny, tiny little nubbin, and it's getting very hard for me to sharpen. So I'm probably going to be done it incredibly soon, or at least as much as I can be. There's no way that I can go like all the way down um, to like this part. Like I can't get much farther. So just putting it in and trying to sharpen it, there's just not enough space for me to twist, and it's starting to get really hard. So I'll use as much as I can, and then I'll probably toss that. So that's exciting. And then I have my um, 
Hourglass Ambient Light Palette or whatever. I think it's Ambient Light Palette. Ambient Lighting Palette. And I don't ever use this. I haven't used it pretty much all year. I think I use it a handful of times in the beginning. And I haven't used it since. And I just don't have interest in using it right now so probably more so in like the winter months I'll probably grab it more but literally have had zero interest in using it so that will still remain at 99 grams and I started off at 100 grams <laughs> the next one is my MAC blush in breezy and this one again will stay the same but I do have substantial pan from this project this year which I never get pan on a, especially a MAC blush um, so this was at 33 grams and it's still at 33 grams. And then the last thing I have, which I do actually have to weigh, is my Tarte Pro Glow Cream Highlighter in the shade Stunner. I'm pretty much down to like here now. So I'm really happy about that. And it is at uh, 5 grams and it was at 6 grams so I have used it up quite a bit so I'm really happy about that I actually did buy the exposed shade of this because they don't have this shade on the Sephora website anymore um, I really enjoy just throwing it into my foundation and just making it a little luminosity but um, I don't really buy a lot of lumi foundations so that kind of gives me the option if I want to in any regular or matte foundation that I have so I was excited about that that is everything that's everything really quick i just wanted to keep this as fast as possible um i know this isn't the most exciting update but we are getting closer to the end of the year but things are starting to move i'm starting to see pan i'm starting to have a hard time sharpening things so i think that by the um end of the year if i decide to continue still using like as many of these as i can i should have maybe down to like five ish products left by the end of the month and I should just bang through these updates like no problem but I'm really happy that I have like some progress on some things that I'm using and that I've decided to rid myself of some of the things that I didn't need and I can't believe I went through a concealer like it took me so long and it really didn't have that much product left in it so it just took me so long to get through that concealer because I don't use very much concealer underneath my eyes. But I'm so happy that I'm done it, although I'm upset because they don't sell that anymore and it is such a really nice concealer. But I have so many other ones that I think I'm going to enjoy. So thank you again so much for watching. I hope you like and subscribe and I will see you again later. Bye everybody.